Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Celesta. In the last episode, we went and looted a Sorak den. And there are also some cultists there, presumably working with the Soraks? Dunno, we'll see. But we got proof that they existed, so that's a thing. Lord Karen. Ah, deputies. I see you found some nice, shiny loot. So, have you brought us the head of a Sorak? One head, slightly damaged. Marike, preserve us. I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> At least it's dead. You should have seen it alive. I That's the mage, imagine. too. When's the next council meeting? When? But now, of course. The rumor of your return has already reached the palace. They're waiting for you. They are? Well, more for this. But come on. Now there's a trophy. And by the way, who's crazy now? <laughs> All right, you were right, we were wrong. They do exist. Happy now? Kid, I've seen more than anyone in this town, yet nobody seems to believe me. Maybe it's a curse. The curse of being surrounded by idiots. If you don't mind, Merton, we have business to attend to. Right. Say hello to the old lady for me, Karen. Who is this guy again? Arwen Merton. He used to be a legend. The first scavenger, they say. Interesting. But now, well, you can see for yourself. Who's this old lady? Just ignore him. Let's go. Bad reading of that line. Your thoughts, Dean Fasek? I, uh, well, it looks very much as the scriptures describe. Well then, it seems we have a problem. It's a disaster. We all know what the Sora Akat did on Tirmar. There's something else. What? A crown? Hmm, interesting. A very nice find. We don't want to sell it. Why not? You know we pay well. We want to keep it. I'd like to take a look at it, though. Come on. Let them take a look. Thank you. Hopefully they're smart enough to do an identify spell on it. Which is what I wanted to do. Any ideas? It's quite massive. Clearly Imperial in style. These ruins remind me of the Imperial Schools of Magic. I have a spell I'd like to cast on this. My lords, this deputy is clearly unwell. What? <laughs> Princess is the only one paying attention to the person fainting in the background. <laughs> Talks to a character, I suppose. Interesting, though. I mean, I knew this what thing was happened? cursed. She's wearing it you again. Passed out. Where are we? The Temple of Ainar. Marshal Beric Sunblaze himself invited us to stay here. We certainly made an impression on the Council. They believe you're attuned to the Crown, that you can't be separated from it. Interesting. What? So it is cursed? Or blessed. They're not sure. All these big brains, and they're stumped. They cast spells on the Crown, on you. Between that and the Sorax, we caused quite a fuss out there. They'll reconvene the council when you're ready. But trust me, there's a lot of people who want to talk to you first. Interesting. Must just check for loot first. Okay. Not much in the Temple of Einar, it seems. Lord Sumblaze, thank you for your hospitality. It's the least we can do for the deputies who proved that there are still Sorax on Celasta. You've proved we cannot relax our vigilance. Did you find anything else that could help us track them? There was a parchment. If you find it, send for the 
Char. You can read that. That last word, it's not Tamarian. It's in the Sorakath tongue. I knew it. It means general. Interesting. You were wise to run. Also, the fanatics we fought near that old tower. They all had this tattoo on their arm. It seems to support the idea that they were working for the Sorax under duress. It is indeed one of their ways. Now this Slave tattoos. is the A of Erevet. Can you enlighten us? Between the myth and what we've seen, it's confusing. Of course. We paladins and clerics of Einar are the guardians of these memories. Our ancestors fought the war against the Sorakath. Their god, Sortar, gave them dark powers of treachery, mind reading, and shape changing. They infiltrated the human society, corrupted the hearts of men. At some point, everyone was suspected to be a Sorak in disguise. Hmm. Distrust broke humanity. Sortar had won. He corrupted even Erevad. God of the Inquisitors. The gods themselves decided to run away from Tirmar. They opened the rift for the humans to escape to Celasta. Many of them didn't make it. It was a tragedy. At the sight of the rift, thousands of Sorak tried to cross. Sortar himself tried. The rift was closed in a gigantic blast. Our kings and heroes, Manakalan's masters of magic, were all wiped out. So, how could Sorax have survived, escaped, and then thrived on Celasta? I suppose that's another one of their tricks. But for those who had survived the war, the Exodus, it was paramount to stay vigilant, to keep the memory Interesting. alive. The memory of what Sorax were, what they could do, so that if one day they were to return, We'd be ready. I'm sorry to say, after a thousand years, only a few of us remain. Now, most people believe Sorax are a mere legend. But you brought us proof the Sorax are not extinct. Hmm. Can they mimic people? Can they really impersonate people? It's been proven, though it's a long process. They used to kidnap a target, study it for weeks, sometimes months. One of their chosen ones would transform into a perfect duplicate. Upon death, they would return to their original form. Interesting. So you can tell after you've killed one whether or not it was a shape changer or not. We fought different ones. Do you know more? The bulk of their army are foot soldiers with poisoned spines. They breed a cast of albino priests able to cast spells. Some of them are deadly assassins, invisible, venomous. Others are giant brutes. The scriptures talk of elite warriors, anti-paladins, the Shikath. Interesting. Useful. Haven't seen a Shikath yet. All the other ones I think I've seen. How do they get people? To worship them. They get into people's minds, learn their darkest secrets, their fears, their shameful desires. With that, they can blackmail, corrupt, and finally, recruit. It's much easier for them than to duplicate, and very efficient. Hmm. Well, that's all very scary, but thanks, it's going to help us. You're welcome, deputies. If you find anything else connected to the Sor Akath or their allies, bring it to the temple. Talk to Chaplain Delan Lark. You will be well rewarded. Whenever you're ready, the council will meet again. Cool. Door cannot be opened. It's an honor, deputies. Who are you? My name is Maddie Greenisle. I work for the Tower of Knowledge. I'm just a junior aide in the council. 
But if you ever need to contact my superiors without going through official channels, just hmm. see me at the tower Interesting. downtown. Clever. Why the sudden interest in us? You proved yourselves in the Badlands. Now, we in the Tower of Knowledge value skilled adventurers. If you find anything of historical value, we'll pay well. And, you know, if things go well, we might share some of our own secrets. All right. We'll think about it. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> can I ask for a minute of your time, deputies? Uh, we're in kind of a hurry. I know. I won't delay you long. My name is Hedlund Shorespell. I represent the Arcanium. And the Arcanium belongs to the New Empire. Do you really want to be seen talking to us? Uh, my business is magic, not politics. And no, I have no quarrel with you. You may not see us Imperials as friends, but we take the Council very seriously. We are particularly interested in anything from the Old Empire that you might find in the Bad Interesting. Earth. Anything from the Manakelan Era Arcanium. Even more so. Oh, of course, we'd pay you handsomely for this crown, although I know that's not possible. You're smarter than you look. Also quite indifferent to mockery. Anyway, we have an unrivaled trove of magical and other knowledge. Think it's over. You can find me at the Gravekeep's cask. Really? Not at the embassy? What can I say? I love Martel's beer, even though it tastes like donkey piss. Interesting. He's not allowed in the square, I suppose. What? How did he... That was our joke, the first day we met. Was he spying on us? Maybe he just agrees about the taste. Probably spying on us. Interesting. Uh, there was one more dude down here. Let's go check. Nothing there. Okay. Just wanted to check, make sure... Don't know why we're all not going, but okay. Let's head out, shall we? <laughs> Did me passing out count as a long rest? I should check that. Because I need to take a long rest if it did not. I'm kind of bone. Would you currently. have a moment, deputies? All right, but make it quick. I'll do my best. I am Joyel Foxeye from the Circle of Denantar. The same magic school where the princess studies. Exactly. Is she a good student? A powerful wizard? That's not for me to say. And you seemed to be in a rush. Fine. <laughs> I just want you to know that our Grand Master Edvin Denantar has noticed you. He talked a lot, for sure. He's a man of great authority. He'd like you to know that our doors are open to you if you'd care to visit us. You can find me at Sunblaze Court. Interested in Badlands treasures, I suppose. Like everyone else. Well, if you ever come across old spell books or spell scrolls, we'd love to see them. In return, we have the largest collection of spells and potion recipes you could ever hope to see. More than the Arcanium. They would disagree, but yes. Now, <laughs> if you were to prefer feeding the New Empire's wizards with more magical knowledge than the Principality, that would be a troubling choice to many on the Council. Neutrality means we don't treat you any differently than we treat them. Of course. Neutrality is the rule. Good day to you, deputies. Interesting. I don't necessarily trust either of those uh, choices, by the way. Um, okay. Talk to her. Anything else worth checking up here? I don't think so. I don't think I have to actually, like, visit anybody. Let's travel up here just to check. Greetings, Sorak Slayers. Hello. 
I am Halman Summer of the Guild of Antiquarians. I'm instructed to invite you to visit us at the Embassy of the Snow Alliance. You're based at an embassy? I thought the council was neutral. We don't have a house of our own in Kaya Kiflin, unlike the Tower of Knowledge. How about that for neutrality? Anyway, we'd be interested in any antiquities you might bring back. We pay very well, even for things you might think are worthless. Like the scavengers? The scavengers? Well, they'd sell an antique emperor's sword for its metal value. But we can offer more than gold. Antique magical items, for instance. You'll never find their like elsewhere. Good to Interesting. know. Thanks for the invitation. Interesting. Honorable council members, please take your seats. Ah, our crown bearer is up again. Lord Danantar has the floor. Thank you. I have confirmed that our deputy is indeed magically attuned to the crown. It is uh, an uncommonly powerful attunement, unlike anything I've seen. I strongly recommend against forcing separation. Chancellor Gorm's daughter? With the Council's permission, I'd like to try a little experiment. I have here the gem that Captain Merrin recovered recently. I have reason to believe that it might be... <gasps> As I suspected, it belongs to the Crown. What have you done? Commander, take Her Royal Highness to safety. No, wait. Interesting. Interesting. Damn. That's a high level character, he has 140 health. And I can play as him apparently. Paladin? Bane, cure wounds, aid, and lesser restoration. I'm assuming Paladin, with the amount of spells he has. Yep, branding smite. Power slay on hands. Let's cast this level three binding smite, shall we? Jesus. Double Jesus. <laughs> um... <laughs> so much fucking damage. Let's get into it, shall we? Can't fly out of my range, otherwise he gets a tackle opportunity. Twenty-one is a miss. Well, this is worrying. Bane. Yes, it's worth. Cool. So let's take out the little fox, I think. No, actually, let's take out this one first.
Yeah, use the attack of opportunity. Right. Knocked him to the ground, even. Jesus. Even more coming out. You'll love to see it. I think I kind of have to do lesser restoration on myself, otherwise I'm attacking with disadvantage, right? Worth, I think. I think I have a pretty high AC at this point. I'm not too worried. AC of 20? Not bad. <laughs> With a two, without a shield, an AC of 20. More coming through every turn. I don't know if there's anything else I'm supposed to be doing here. Not really, I just gotta kill shit, right? Take out this. No, it's fine, end turn. Keep shield of faith until my next turn. I guess it was just a certain amount of turns I had to fight there. Or until everyone evacuated, I guess. Luckily there was this badass Are you fucking paladin. Going to faint again? A vision. I just had a vision. What? A vision? In an instant? I was fighting Sorax, but I wasn't myself. Then, who were you? A paladin. Powerful. From Tiamar. Hmm, that is... unsettling. Let the Crown Bearer and the other deputies follow that quest. Find the other gems if you can, but keep us informed. In the meantime, we will formulate a response to the Sorax. Interesting. Let's so that was vote. in a vision. Delegates? Do you agree? Aye. Aye! Your Royal Highness? Oh, pardon me. Yes, I concur. To which proposition, Your Highness? I mean, I. They should go and find the diamonds, the gems. So, resolved. Let it be recorded. Thank you, honored delegates. The council is now in recess. Interesting. So we have our overarching goal, I suppose. What was that? You had a vision. I... I can't explain. I, I just feel it. Anyway, we have a new mission. All right then. So where are we going, Crown Bearer? I think the Crown knows. Interesting. I've turned my... I've turned my wizard into the main character for now. Um... Alright, I'll uh, cut back here just for now because I grabbed myself a uh, Thunder Wave. Because why not? May as well learn it. 
All right, I'm gonna cut again. Okay, so we are at the antiquarians, and giving them archaeological notes gives me plus two relation with them, as well as a gold per. Do I want to get antiquarians up or tower of knowledge up? Antiquarians can give me magic weapons. See you next time, friends. Which which is cool. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's actually talk to him and see if he has anything particularly interesting to sell. I yes, bet I can't afford friends. any of it, but you know, it, you know let's have a look we and see what he's got. Require your services. Cause this guy I haven't been able to talk to before. Oh yeah. Fucking oh yeah. Yeah, this is definitely worth getting these guys up. Jesus Christ. Um Huh. Yeah, these guys I want to get up. Feather Falling. Peripad of Health. Manual of Gainful ex Exercise. Headband of Intellect. Dust of Disappearance. Cloak of Protection. Circlet of Blasting. Braces of Defense. Braces of Archery. Boots of Sp Riding and springing. Boots of the Winterland. God damn. Boots of levitation. Ring of. F Belt of fire giant strength. Jesus. That's. 8,280, you can have 25 strength. In a handy haversack. Okay, there's a lot of stuff I want from there. Uh, let's head out though, shall we? Oh, what's this? Oh, I guess, did I just wait there for a while? Hello. A word, please, deputies. Sure. What's this? A command word to teleport your party to the city's imperial gate. Teleport? We can't do that, I'm pretty sure. Well, a word is that in the Badlands, you may come across functioning major gates. If you do, use this command word and you'll be brought back here. Take note of any command word on the gate you find, and you'll be able to return there the same way. That's fantastic. Don't get too excited. So far, no one's found any. Oh, right. Thanks anyway. Stay in the light, senior deputies. You too, Captain. Interesting. <laughs> Lord Karen told you that Arwen Merton used to be a scavenger and a famous one. Ask any bar bag mortar to tell you more and Annie Borgnorda left a message for you you need to go see her about some personal matter cool once again I'm gonna cut unless these are particularly interesting conversations this one looks like it might be clear skies adventurers we do require your services I take it back Let's talk to this guy. Clear skies, my friends. You have some treasure in your backpacks? Indeed I do. Let's see what you think of this. See you next time, friends. Cool. So I gave away a bunch of stuff that I didn't need anymore. Head down to Lane's End. I want to talk to this guy again, because I'm pretty sure he's a saw rack. Greetings, deputies. Hmm. Sure thing, fucking saw rack. All right, terror. <laughs> deputies, how are you today? We do.
these guys would be a good group to get as well, just so I can get spells. Alright, we're back. So, let's talk to her. Clear skies, my friends. Do you know Arwin Merton, the so-called first scavenger? Of course. That's it. Merton. It's a painful topic for me. I'd rather not talk about him. Fair enough. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, there you are. Clear skies, my friends. Someone came to see you. Me? Who? An old acquaintance, I gather. Master Dakin. He said he'd wait for you at Sunblaze Court. Oh, thanks for the message. Stay in the light. Interesting. Everything all right? Like she said, an old acquaintance. Interesting that she specifies acquaintance. Um, talk to Arwen. Must ducking. Hey, Arwen. Hey. Interested in a little side job? What kind of side job? The kind that takes particular skills and contacts in the shall we say involuntary gift business Definitely. involuntary gift business <laughs> that's just embarrassing say what you mean the underworld right and there i was trying to be discreet try harder suppose i do have the skills and contacts you're looking for go to annie bagmorda at the scavengers tell her i sent you interesting Very interesting. Go talk to him again. We're nearly coming up to the end of the episode, by the way. It's been a very talkative episode. Look who's here. The Sorak hunters themselves. It's Merton, right? Arwin Merton. Damn right. First scavenger. Where does that come from? Long story, kid. Short version. When we started crossing the marshes to the Badlands, I was one of the first. Now, I'm just the ugliest one left standing. Hmm. What should we know about the Badlands? Any advice? Bring a good cleric. With good healing spells. You'll need them. You're a legend. Why do you seem so sour? Sour? It's this ale that's sour, that's all. The High and Mighty Council, paying clueless kids like you to go and get killed in the Badlands. But they're not asking good old Arwen, no. Go figure. It's because I got them figured out. Figured out? How? The Legacy Council is full of it, acting all united and lovey-dovey while they plot to rob each other. Wouldn't surprise me if some of them were even Sorax in disguise. You know they can shapeshift. Uh, okay. Hey, I was right about them hiding in the Badlands, wasn't I? Interesting. So there are a bunch of lizard people. Um... Maybe something will come up. Interesting. Uh, go get killed in the Badlands. Let me go talk to the Arcanum good dude. I kind of want to see what they sell apart from anything else. I think they also have spells, just like the other place. Clear skies, adventurers. Just past. That's not. That's not what I wanted to say. I said the wrong thing. We do. We do require your services. Oh. Oh, it's primed shit. And a bunch of scrolls. 
Interesting. Primed blight. Huh. Cool. They also sell cool shit. I kind of want to take a long rest. What's the time? 9.14. Let's take a long rest, shall we? And that'll be the end of the episode, I think. Hello, adventurer. What can I offer you? <laughs> Tell us about your tavern. The inn? Well, it's not that old, but somehow it feels like it's been here forever. Well, you can meet all kinds of people here, that's the good thing. An old scavenger, a diplomat from the council, a knight, a lord, a beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name Gravekeep's Cask? Well, it's very old from Imperial times. Perhaps a historian would know, but I don't. Hmm. We room. We'd like to stay for the night. Ten gold, that's pretty damn cheap. Um, I don't think I need to re-prepare any of these spells. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Cool. I am, however, now healed, which is nice. And it's the morning. In fact, 5am. So let's come out here. And then end the episode. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. That was a... Odd way of running to that point, but whatever. Um, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. And I shall see you next time. Bye, guys.